Members of the Progressive Liberal Party gathered at the Malia Resort in prayer on Sunday morning as it braces to appoint a new leader and chairman of, at the end of its convention, which starts tomorrow. While the party's interim leader reflected on the recent election loss and explains what the PLP must now do to return to the public's good graces. Cleopatra Murphy has that report. Interim leader of the Progressive Liberal Party, Philip Davis, says the party is working to rebuild its image and restore its viability following its crushing defeat at the polls in the May 10th general election. Davis, who spoke to reporters on the sidelines of a prayer breakfast that kicks off three days of convention on Monday, says the party got the message and has learned several lessons. We need to be able to demonstrate to Bahamian people that we are re reworking our vision to be more to be more, um, to more to be more to reflect more what the Bahamian people would like to see. We have to rework rework our image. And uh, I think we need to ensure that we find the right vehicles that our message is delivered to the Bahamian people. During the next three days of convention that will end with Davis solidified as the party leader or end with a new one, he says the party will engage in reflection as he has come to a realization that the PLP lost touch with its base. He says restoring that connection is a work in progress. We lost the will to be all-time PLPs all the time PLPs and the question of us having a continual connection with our people, continual dialogue, continual addressing of issues that impact the ordinary Bahamians. Outside of the leadership race that will see Member of Parliament for Angliston Glennis Hannah Martin contest Davis for leadership, the position for chairman will also be featured prominently. The race for the national chairman is also expected to be a hotly contested one with former cabinet minister Obi Wilchcombe, Long Island's candidate Glendon Roll, former Senator Alex Storr, former MP Damian Gomez, and PLP stalwart member Keith Albury, all said to be vying for that position. Davis would not say who he supports, while current chairman Bradley Roberts also commented on the leadership and chairmanship race. I will allow the convention will to be, uh, the convention will, um, will determine that. And um, I'm interested in my uh, leadership race and working on getting that to be a success. I believe that the, the conventioners will in their wisdom elect whom they feel is best suited to lead the party. Progressive Liberal Party Senator Fred Mitchell is also expected to be nominated on the floor for the chairman's position. Cleopatra Murphy, Satanese Network News.